Hello, I'm Carl Wells, food critic for The Telegram. And I'm Chef Steve Watson of Central Dairy. And welcome to another edition of... One Chef, One Critic. And we're so pleased today to be in the magnificent dining room of the Kenny's Pond Retirement Residence on Kenny's Pond in St. John's. And this is where they live life with a big L. Life really does begin after 60. <laughs> this is a magnificently appointed building. It has a theater, it has a spa, it has all sorts of magnificent uh, living quarters here. And this dining room is beyond belief. It has Royal Dalton China, white tablecloth service. It's got it all, Steve. Absolutely, Cal. And uh, Chef Stephanie Holt has prepared some wonderful appetizers <laughs> for us today. What do you have? Indeed she has, Cal. She's made an amazing leek and potato soup here with some deep, deep fried leeks on there and a drizzle of olive oil. But I did notice upstairs there is a demonstration kitchen as well. Maybe I should give you a few lessons up there. Well, they do a lot of educational programs they here, actually, do. for yeah. the residences. Now, Chef Stephanie has prepared a magnificent uh, couscous salad for me with black beans flavored with cilantro and a deep-fried taco shell. It's kind of a Mexican-themed dish with a little bit of mango salsa on the side. Now, our guest on the program today is... <laughs> Ronaldo McDonald. Yes, and Ronaldo Hutton McDonald uh, is a musician, of course, wonderful singer. She and her husband, Peter McDonald, do uh, many musical productions at the Arts and Culture Center every year. They've got one coming up, as a matter of fact. It's Anne of Green Gables. What are you going to cook for? I'm going to make an amazing pasta salad with penny pasta and some roasted pine nuts. We can afford them. And some chicken in there as well. Excellent. Now, you know, this uh, table setting reminds me very much of uh, what the dining used to be like on the Newfoundland Railway. White tablecloths and napkins. Yes, as a matter of fact, I looked at a picture the other day taken uh, on board one of our uh, dining cars. Uh, it was back in the 40s sometime, and they had the napkins actually folded like that. My dad used to cook on the train. Yes, so as you've told me. Near and dear to my heart. Uh, we're going to go to Avondale, where they've got one of the old rail cars converted into a dining car, much as it used uh, was. Uh, and we're going to give people a taste of what dining on the trains was all about. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, anyway, let's taste. Let's taste this food and see what it's like. Hey, Steve, I just noticed that they have Royal Dalton China here at Kenny's Pond Retirement Residence. Did you know that Royal Dalton China was the first China to be taken into space? When was that, in 84 or something? 1984, the inaugural launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. They took Royal Dalton China with them. Well, the last time our guest today uh, worked with me was uh, many years ago when we were both wee things, although she was a weer. <laughs> and uh, she is singer, musician, uh, mom, director, a whole bunch of things, Ronaldo Hutton McDonald. Hi. Hi. Great to see you again. <laughs> yeah, great to see you. And that show we did all those years ago, I know people are going to wonder, uh, it was The Music Man. Yes. Uh, Gordon Pinsent was in it. And uh, what character did you play? I was Amaryllis. Amaryllis. <laughs> I didn't think about that one. Yeah. Amaryllis. Yeah, and I was one of the traveling salesmen. I you were a much bigger star in the show than I was. Yeah. Oh, and a much star. better singer. <laughs> Yeah, which you'll be happy to know. Well, we'll go into that a bit later. Well, always yeah. making, you need fun, lessons. Of always you need making lessons. fun of my singing, that guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's great to see you, Ronaldo. It's great to be here. Today, Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be, what, grilling chicken, Stephen? We're going to be grilling chicken with some beautiful penny pasta, some fresh asparagus tips, and some pine nuts, and... Uh, I think we should get started. I think yeah, so. Yeah. Absolutely. Looks like we've got a lot of work to do. We do indeed, Carl. <laughs> what I've got here is a beautiful marinade. I've added some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, some fresh rosemary, some garlic, and a little bit of lemon juice, and some salt and pepper. And because we had to marinate the chicken, I've got some beautiful chicken here that I've cut it up into strips. And we're going to be grilling this. Well, you're going to be yeah. grilling it, Carl. Okay. And uh, we've been marinating this for about half an hour. So if I can pass that over to you, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we can start to, to grill that on our grill there. So how long will it take this chicken to grill? It's only going to take about 20 minutes. So well, actually, even less than that. Only about okay. uh, 10 yeah. minutes, actually. And what I've got on here, Ronaldo, I've been cooking some penny pasta. Yes. And I've cooked that al dente, so it's just that little bit undercooked, so nice okay. and firm to go with this dish. So I'm going to remove that from the, uh, the pot there okay. and, uh, and spray it. So. Okay. And how long can you marinate chicken? Um, 
maximum I'd say two hours because you don't want to break down the enzymes in the actual chicken. Okay. Okay? Good yeah, enough. breaking down the enzymes. <laughs> we, we don't want to break down the enzymes too much. Sounds a little medical to me. I'm yeah, it sounds a little, uh, <laughs> little medical. So um, now, mm, since we good. work together, you've become a mom. How, how old are your kids now? I have four beautiful children. Yeah. Uh, Emma is nine. And Peter Andrew is 12, mm -hmm. Noel is 18, and Miranda is 20. Now, uh, both you and Peter, your husband, Peter McDonald, mm -hmm. uh, obviously are musicians, singers, and so forth. Have uh, any of the kids uh, followed in your footsteps? Well, they're all a little musical, uh, but they all have their own strengths. Miranda is actually doing a musical theater at Sheridan College. Ah. And um, she's going into the third year. And mm -hmm. uh, Noel... That's in Ontario, is it? Yes, that's okay. in Ontario. Yep. And in Oakville. And uh, Noel is hockey extraordinaire. He loves the sports and everything. Yeah. He's going into business school in September at Munn, here at Munn. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, yeah, he's the... He's and, of course, the you've got those great uh, Hutton musical genes because uh, the Hutton family, for many, many, many decades, is known to have... Uh, produced uh, many great musicians and singers, right? Well, they tend to like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of in the blood, I think, yeah. yeah. No, so okay, Ronald, I'll just give you the, the spatula. Yep. And uh, I've just put a little bit of olive oil into the pan so it doesn't stick immediately, and then we're just going to add the pasta to that. Perfect. Okay, and then just toss it a little bit there. So you've got a, a production coming up soon. Yes, we do. Anne of Green Gables. We're mm -hmm. doing it at the Arts and Culture Center. Uh, October the... No problem. October 7th to the 10th, very soon. Yeah, yeah this week. So they'd have to turn that car as well. So okay. It yeah. won't take long. Uh, the, the Arts and Culture Center is a great venue, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's, uh, to the, the pasta, I've, I've blanked some uh, asparagus tips. Again, al dente, so it's a little bit undercooked. So okay. we'll put that into there. I love asparagus. There we go. Asparagus, asparagus. My mother does that with my brother. Yeah, I think uh, uh, might be a useful thing to go with a spatula for turning a seed. Uh, okay. Because the tongue seemed to be sticking, causing to it. it to tear. It to tear yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. It does. How's that? It does. Yeah. It's nothing yeah. like. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like grilled chicken. I'm also going to add some pine nuts. I roasted the pine nuts. Now, when you get the pine nuts, obviously they're not roasted, but when you do them on the top of the stove, you've almost got to stand over them because within seconds they can they turn and burn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Add some of those in there. And I've still got some of the, the marinade. I only used half of the marinade in the chicken. Yeah. And it's a beautiful dressing there. And I'm going to add that to it as well. And the roasted pine nuts, you didn't put any seasoning on, just as, 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 as it is. As it is, mm -hmm. correct. It's going to bring some beautiful flavor there. Yep. And then we'll just put the dressing right on that. Oops. Oh my gosh, do I get to have this recipe after? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Absolutely. No. There's no we'll secrets love around here. No, no well, secrets good. around here. No, Did what? you know that pine nuts actually come, come from pine cones, from pine trees? No, That's I did true. not know. Yeah, right. he's just a wealth of information. You they're are. Right and they're actually not seeds. They're, <laughs> or, or they're not nuts, they're seeds. <laughs> they're the little seeds that come out of uh, pine cones. Now, not all pine trees produce them, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we can start to put the, uh, the Parmesan cheese there into that. Absolutely. There we the go. Stinky cheese. Now, do you want me just to grate this? You tell, tell me when. Oh, don't be shy. As much as you, much oh, as you okay. wish into the... Emma loves Parmesan. Yeah. Parmigian Parmigiano. Uh, I should know that, but it's part Italian to me. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Part Italian? Oh, part Italian, part Spanish, part new. You know, oh, that's, right. Right. that's great. <laughs> I'm 57. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the Italian is where the, uh, the, the singing gene came from. Yes. Because you know? the Italians are such great singers, you know. Yes, All these be. wonderful opera singers. Uh, Ooh, I did that good. one time. That was good. Perfect. There you go. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. You're welcome. I did wash my hands beforehand. Uh, have you done uh, Anne of Green Gables salt. before, by the way? Yes, we did. Um, yeah. 13 years ago. Oh. I, I kind of thought you had. Yep. Yeah. Great and Canadian uh, musical. It's probably well, the yes. only... Great Canadian musical. <laughs> and it's such a fun show. It uh, is, yeah. It really, can I? Can I yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Please do. Feel free. Um, it's a it's a really nice show. Lots of rehearsals. You know, yeah. we've been in rehearsals yeah. now for quite a while, and it's uh, it's going really well. Mm. And uh, Mallory Fisher is our Anne, and James Daly is Gilbert. Yeah. I'm playing uh, the 
the serious one this time. Oh. I've never actually done that sort of a role. You're playing the mom? I'm playing Marilla. Marilla. Yes. Marilla. And Marilla. it's been a real challenge for yeah. me, I have to say. Yeah. So, and now Matthew Stokes, Matthew Stokes, uh, Robert Stokes is back as Matthew. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just love him. Yeah. yeah kind of he food. makes me cry. There is kind of a food song in that show. Is there not? Ice cream. You want to learn that one? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the one. Yeah. Is anything it, more delectable than ice cream? See, he's da, 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 than da. ice. Yes, yeah. you should. And be then in the of show. course there's humble pie, humble pie. We can, we can eat, eat it, it eat you, you and, and I. I. Yes, or you we'll and I. I want to make you feel jealous. I'm left out of this one. My goodness. Carl, you should yeah. be in our no, shows. It's a great show. No, it's, it's nice a great show. Nice voice. Yeah. He practices in the yeah. show, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I yeah. don't think I can really go there and listen to him. No, no. 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 <laughs> Don Heron, who played uh, Charlie Ferguson on television and on radio for years, yes. was one of the uh, composers, along with uh, Norman Campbell, I think. About yes, show. Norman Campbell. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful show. It is a nice show. Yeah. It's a real family thing, yeah. and, you know. So, uh, Peter McDonald Productions, it, that's you and Peter together? or Yes, I and uh, Marin Oftel is our choreographer, and Valerie Long is our uh, musical director. Well, I do yeah. choral, and Valerie yeah. does the instrumental directing. Okay, great. And so we're a team, yeah. and it's been and, a real and team so effort for it's years. Kinda, it's kind of like a school, and you're teaching, and... It's really nice. Uh, now, we use everybody from the community. It's yeah. not just our own yeah. students. Well, you do use, use your own students. We do use some. I can sing yes. Les Poissons. Yeah. Ooh, so that's go. a good one. one. Yeah. Yes, Disney yeah. is your next spot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're in Disney, all right. Yes, we're going to Disney. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm in Disney yeah. today. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe you can great. pass Ronaldo the tongs, and uh, I know you're going to be disappearing, oh, so we'll have to take the chicken. Now we have two okay. sets of tongs here. I, I'm concerned about contamination because we don't want to use. Uh, well, we'll use a spatula then. Yeah. Okay. Right. Because you've got to right. be careful. Cause we don't want to use what we use on I'm, raw chicken on cold chicken, right? Very much. Okay. Right. Anyway, uh, Ronaldo, why don't you do this? Oh, certainly. Um, I'll, I'll take the spatula. Okay. Wow. I'll hold this. Thank you very much. We yeah, we have to be quick wanna... because I see our uh, wine. Uh, Thanks, our wine right there. is right over there <laughs> waiting for us. Okay. We're baking, Brett. Yeah. And we can't miss the wine. Yeah. Okay. That's good. There we go. Is that, is that's that enough? enough? We can finish it off, Carl. We'll finish yeah. it off if you... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because I know what Andrew's like. So I'm, I'm going to drag Ronaldo with me now. Okay. Oh, I'm there coming. Oh, let me, okay. Let me leave this for I'm you. going this go. way? Yeah. Okay, thank well, you. Well, you know, it's one chef, Smells one good. Tray. I hope I yes, get some. Yes, yes, yes. has his work. <laughs> Perfect. Hello, nice to meet you. You too. I'm Andrew now. Facey. Hello, Hi, Andrew. Andrew. Hey, Andrew. We've got, uh, looks like we've got some new uh, wines today. We do, Carl. Some things yeah. that are fairly new to the NLC. Great. I understand you've made a, a penny pasta with chicken dish. Yes. Yeah. Uh, quite neutral dish. So what I've done is I've uh, chosen some wines that might go with some of the bridge ingredients, like the asparagus and the pine nuts. Ah. Uh, okay. It's rather a light dish, so we're going with some light-bodied white wines today. You like uh, white wine, uh, Ronaldo? I love white wine. Okay. Yes, Perfect. I do. Well, I yeah. hope you have brought some that you enjoy. Okay. Uh, the first one is a Pinot Grigio from Ontario. Uh, fairly new product at the NLC. It's called Girls Night Out. Oh, Girls Night like Out. It is. 100% oh, like stainless steel. <laughs> well, if this is what you want, this is what we will drink today. Oh, okay. Uh, wine number two is a similar style as the first one, but it's a different grape. It's 100% uh, Chardonnay uh, from Beaujolais. Or sorry, from uh, Chablis region in northern Burgundy. Yeah. Uh, this is also done in stainless steel. It's nice and steely and minerally and crisp. A big acidity to cleanse your palate after the pasta tires it and the cheese. Ah. The final wine is a famous, iconic wine from New Zealand. It is the Cloudy Bay Sauvignon Blanc. This is what put New Zealand on the map. Oh. Uh, the first vintage of this was in the mid 80s, and uh, this is very new to the NLC. We're very lucky to have it and very glad to have it. Jeez, when I scanned yeah. that, you know, um, I was thinking Oyster Bay, it, well, which is another new Exactly. Zealand Oyster one. Bay is one of the many that came after Cloudy Bay. That are, mm -hmm. This was the first. And uh, I was just thinking about the Oyster Bay. Uh, first time I had Oyster Bay, when I smelled it, you know the vegetable I smelled? Asparagus. Asparagus. Most definitely. Yeah. This is very common with this. We we'll yeah. also get things like gooseberries and elderflowers yeah. and a nice grapefruit acidity, a to, yeah. again, to cleanse your palate. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, uh, Ronaldo, you want to go with the girls' night well, out? Well, I was thinking that, but now that you say we're very lucky to have this uh, other bay yeah. one, I think maybe, what was it called again? Cloudy <laughs> Bay. I was going to say oyster. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Man. This is a bit sexist. 
If only, you read that. If, on, if only a man could be as dependable as this classy no, number. Now, if we now were to put that I on mean, a bottle, you know, Carl, I, this, I mean, what <laughs> about a woman? I mean, exactly. That's what a do you think? I mean, it's this crazy. This is the double right? standard. This 2009. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, Any, anyway. deal with it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Which one? Which you one? know what? They're all very similar in terms of style. It's uh, fine with me. Although, I think if you said this one is one that we are very lucky to have. Yes. Well, let's go then with we the one that we're that very one. lucky to have then. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. We'll go I've with the bottom of this vintage, yes. Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, and okay. Uh, Steve, uh, you can get to try it too. How's the, uh, how's the food coming? Well, Ronaldo, Carl, I'm really pleased with this pasta. It's nice and al dente and all that dressing through there, like so. And we're going to cap that with a beautiful capping of fresh parmesan. There we go. Perfect. Well, let's go to the table. I'm very excited about this wine and food pairing, uh, as the dish being a little herbaceous uh, mm -hmm. is going to match the wine. There's some green pepper I, notes in the yeah. wine. I was going to say, this smells a little herby too. Definitely. This is what we're hoping to pick up on. Not like herby, but <laughs> herby. <laughs> herby the is. Bad. Definitely. Uh, looks great. Yeah. It looks wonderful. Let's have a taste. Mm. Mm. Let's see how this uh, turned out with its uh, herbaceous things. <laughs> Oh, the asparagus is very nice. Mm. Oh my nice. gosh, it is very nice. Mm. The uh, asparagus is what I would call al dente. Al dente, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to have been the flow of the meal. Yeah. To accompany the wine. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Ronaldo, do you do the cooking at home? Uh, I do a lot of it, but mm -hmm. Peter, um, Peter loves to experiment. He's yeah. quite good with, you know, just sort of doing it. Because when I'm teaching in the evenings. He yep. cooks the meal. So, so Peter's a modern man. He he, he sure is. In and, uh, yeah, he's great does dad his and thing too. Yes, yeah, that's he excellent. Cleans yep. more than I do, I think. <laughs> so um, you've got Anne of Green Gables coming up, and mm -hmm. I guess after after that you're going to do a Christmas show. Yes, uh, we're doing a Santa's workshop. <clears throat> oh, excellent. And that's going to be in the first, uh, the beginning yeah. of December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And uh, I should say, by the way, we have a couple of tickets yes. to Anne of Green Gables to give away on the program. So uh, you can contact us uh, through the website uh, if you want to put your name in the hat for those tickets. And also, of course, you can get this wonderful recipe uh, from the Rogers website. Cheers, Ronaldo. Cheers. Thank you cheers. so much for being cheers. on the show. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Here and cheers to uh, my birthday buddy. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. yes. We share the same, same birthday, birthday, folks, October 23rd. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Nice yeah. to meet you all. For a complete listing of One Chef, One Critic recipes, wine lists, and more, check out our website. Let us know what you think of the show at 757-9600 or send us an email at onechef.onecritic at rci.rogers.com. Steve, this is amazing. Look at how straight this cake is cut. Yes, Cal, how they do that? They just run a hot knife under hot water and cut it straight through the icing and that's going to make it nice and neat. And don't worry, Cal, it's not going to make your cake mushy. Sharp knife too, I bet. Sharp knife. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, another beautiful dessert, Steve. <laughs> I've got white chocolate cake here, topped with beautiful mandarin oranges and a drizzle of chocolate. It's amazing. And? I've got an amazing carrot cake, homemade carrot cake with a cream cheese icing and a, a drizzle, drizzle of caramel and some whipped cream. I'm sure it's going to be at least as good as mine. <laughs> uh, now, I don't know whether they serve this type of dessert on the Newfoundland Railway in the dining car, but I'm, they sure served things that were absolutely special and delicious. And we're going to find out more now about dining as on the railway as we go to the old railway station in Avondale. You know, I have to be the luckiest guy in the world because I actually got to ride the Newfoundland Railway. When I was a little boy, I remember traveling from St. John's, leaving the old railway station on Water Street, getting onto the train from the platform down there and all the hustle and bustle and excitement. Uh, and me and my mom would travel all the way over to Deer Lake to visit my aunt. But one of the highlights of the trip, always for me, being a lifelong foodie, was dining in the dining car of the Newfoundland Railway, especially since my dad used to be a cook on the railway. That was great. I, oh, I so enjoyed those meals. Anyway, uh, here at the Avondale Railway Station, uh, which, by the way, I passed through many a time when I was a, a little boy, uh, they've recreated the dining car experience. 
and we're going to show it to you now. And you can get a sense of what I felt when I was a little boy all those years ago. Come on. Back in the day of the Newfoundland Railway, dining on this train would have been absolutely opulent. You would have had white tablecloth service with real silverware, and you'd be dining on things like turtle soup for 25 cents, fillet steak and mushrooms for 60 cents, two dollars a bottle for champagne, and they even had folks in 1905 on the Newfoundland Railway Budweiser beer for 20 cents a bottle. Well, uh, you can't get Budweiser beer or champagne on this particular train <laughs> these days here in Avondale, but you can certainly get the experience of what it was like to dine on a dining car of the Newfoundland Railway. Now, in my day, there would have been tables on both sides. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> and um, now, of course, they're just on one side here. But uh, there would have been a waiter running up and down, just like this lady here, uh, waiting on tables. And as you approached your table, you'd kind of have to keep your balance because the train would be rocking back and forth. It was all really, really exciting. And of course, you'd hear the rattle of the rail. And uh, as a kid, I always wanted a window seat because I loved to watch the scenery as it whizzed by. And you never, know, you never knew what was going to show up through the window here. Anyway. The food was most important, so uh, I'm going to check out this menu and see. I don't see turtle soup and uh, I don't see mutton chops, but I have a feeling that Donna Lewis knows what I want anyway. Yes, my darling, I got everything here. Ah. It's just what you ordered. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that looks so good. Donna, that mashed potato reminds me of the mashed potato I had on the train when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it. So, uh, this must be a really uh, interesting experience for you, actually working on a train car. Yes. I is it cramped quarters in there? Oh, very cramped. Yeah. Very cramped. It wouldn't do for me to get really swamped. <laughs> <laughs> the train was famous, of course, for taking people uh, away from home and bringing people home. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it brought you and your family home because you had a restaurant in Wysaga Beach, Ontario for many years yes. where you were famous for your down-home cooking and your jigs dinner. Uh, and you were serving a lot of Newfoundland meals up there, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yes. And everybody loved it. Anyway, and now you're here and uh, you're enjoying the experience. Yeah. Now you eat, test my meal. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> you know, Steve, it was such a pleasure being back on that old rail car in Avondale. I mean, the days of rail travel and dining on the trains. It Brings was, back it, to old memories, I Oh, think. it was something yeah. special. We'll never see that era no, again, No, 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 indeed we won't. Anyway, we do have uh, this kind of service to look forward to, <laughs> uh, such as they uh, provide here at the Kenny's Pond Retirement Residence. And uh, as long as you've got a chef like uh, Stephanie Holt here, you're going to be doing all right. Absolutely. I think, I think my dad would have been proud to work with you. Amazing, Stephanie. Yeah. Uh, wonderful you've done food. done a great Thank job. You. So how do you accommodate people who have, uh, you know, issues with diabetes, lactose intolerance, that sort of thing? Well, we have four versions of our menu. The regular diabetic, renal, and lactose intolerance. And just because somebody might need a little bit of a modified diet doesn't mean that the quality or the service should compromise. So how do they accept dishes like that couscous salad that I had earlier? <laughs> Surprisingly, they love it. Oh, yeah, really? They do. So they're, so they're up for, you know, trying new things? They are. We have an adventurous bunch here. They have adventurous... But they still like the meat and potatoes, though. They do. They adventurous do. palates, <laughs> just like Stephen and myself. Yes, well, anyway, that's right. thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Uh, we've had a great time here today. And that's it for this edition of... One Chef, One Critic. <laughs> It would depend how she'd want a but private you'll elevator, here, you'll, be, you? you'll be here long before me because you're much older. No, 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 no. Back in my day, they paid in, in coin. In your day. In yeah. coin. In coin. <laughs> I have the first coin I ever made. Yeah, yeah. It was probably the first coin ever minted. Could have been. <laughs> It could have been, it could have been. I think it was whalebone. <laughs> whalebone, oh yeah. 